Hello, I'm the Zombie J. Just got done reviewing Malum. It's pretty cool. Probably not the best out of the first wave of Glatorians, but hey. Go watch that review if you haven't already. This video, I'm going to be reviewing Umbra. This set was complete. Yay! Um, I already explained how I got him, obviously, um, in, uh, the, in my birthday video from yesterday. So, I'm 30 years old, yay. <laughs> um, so, this was one of those special limited edition sets from 2006. He's like this speed of light character, and you know, he was a guardian of, uh, one of the guardians of the Mask of Life and whatnot, so. There wasn't really much of a backstory to this guy, as far as I know. Um, I could be wrong, post in the comment section below. Of course, I could just go and check the Biosector 01, but I don't fucking feel like it. But I had this set, originally. <sighs> Parts broke. Parts broke. That's all I can say. Parts broke. And there's a broken part on this one. The hand is cracked. Ugh, they should have taken five dollars off just for that. Shout out to the um, to the uh, uh, minifig shop for supplying me with this. Obviously, I still hate some of the prices that were for some things. And anyway, so yeah, this guy is pretty cool looking. He was like twenty or twenty-five dollars when he came out, I think, in two thousand and six. Oh yeah, he rolls. <laughs> um, he's, yeah, so let's start. He's got these roller skates, and as you can probably hear... Yep, <laughs> he rolls. He rolls on the desk, which is pretty fucking awesome. Uh, I still had the wheels to my original um, Umbra, and I used them for a mock, I think. Um, so yeah, he's got these roller skates which help him with that speed of light thing. Um, uh, he's got a ton of Borok eyes on each foot. There's like four for each foot. Uh, got two joints, one for the main leg and one for the piston. He's got two pistons because Titans needed pistons back in 2008. <laughs> uh, um, also we got some Technic pieces here and there too. Uh, Paraka uh, upper leg armor, specifically Zaktan's, because it's, well, green. He's got a couple more of those up here on top of these uh, seven hold, pin hold L beams. Uh, Paraka legs, speaking of Zaktan, uh, he's got Paraka lower legs. Why? I don't know. Um, kind of gives him a unique look. This guy overall looks unique. Um, he's got these uh, Pohatu Nuva climbing claws in silver obviously for his lower leg armor which I don't think he needed those but hey it works um, he's got a couple more uh, Pohatu Nuva climbing claws up here as his shoulder armor um, his head is anyway uh, these are in key orange though and they've got these barbs on them which at the time were originally these um, uh, just ABS plastic, and then they switched gears and turned them into like uh, uh, polypropylene, I think. I don't know. Um, so that's cool, and obviously, those are held on to his neck region uh, with a couple of these things. He's got a couple of these here, and a couple of them right here on his uh, upper legs, which also have you know these frictioned, uh, friction adders before friction adders were a thing. So um, he's got the pistons, those are pretty cool. Um, these uh, Technic uh, lift arm pieces and three holes. Um, there's his butt. There's <laughs> the Vaki lower torso region. He got some Technic pieces going up his spine. He's got these tubes. He's got these tubes. They go from down here uh, on the back of his crotch armor, you know, protecting his. Yeah, um, those go from there to his back, uh, to like a shoulder blade region, and 
I'm not sure how I like this whole configuration of his, you know, of this whole assembly being like this. Uh, you can see, because there's gappage. <laughs> and there's gonna be gappage. Um, because, look, look at this. I can literally just take this whole assembly off, and it's just, and now he's the headless horseman from Cirrhosis of the Liverpool. <laughs> uh, got a couple more, uh, Metro chest armor in silver. Got three of those in total, so that's cool. And obviously his main chest armor right here is this, uh, Toa Metro foot in key to orange. That's pretty cool. So this can just plug right back. Mm. Ah, ah. This can plug back. Oh, there. Fuck. There we go. Uh, did I mention this guy uses the fucking Great Ruru? Uh, how many times have they used this uh, mask in general? Like, seriously? Um, but hey, it's a, it's a pretty cool mask. I like it. He does have glowing eyes. So that's cool. Uh, unfortunately, his weapons, the uh, Inaika sort of sword and axe thing don't really work anymore. In fact, this one has residue of rust on the outside, I think, and I I didn't catch that at the um, at the store, but you know, I probably should say something to them next time. Um, his lower arms are Vaki lower, uh, lower legs in um, Metro Green. Uh, upper arms are actually, I think this entire upper arm is basically ripped from Kongu and Ika, except, well, these are at the full, um, that, and these are pretty light silver, very light, light, light silver, um, to the point of being, like, almost light gray, very light gray silver, I don't know, it's definitely different from the silver you see everywhere else on him, that's interesting, um, I don't know why they haven't tried to use that piece before, uh, or that color before, um, besides on Kongo and Ika, and Umbra. That's pretty fucking cool, actually. I think it was also used on Vizon. So, hmm. Uh, the weapon, obviously, he's got these, well, he's got a couple of, uh, slides our feet, or whatever. Four hands. You know, for fingers, it looks like. And they're both pointing down, because why? Hmm. This is a weird thing, so this is the, so 2006 was the first year where this version, where it's way smoother, of this piece came out, and it's used right here, and obviously, you know, there's a couple more, uh, Borak eyes and silver on this sort of, uh, gate sort of thing, where this Rotuka spinner is used, he's got a Rotuka spinner, uh, launcher thing, and this one is, well, it's a mixture of metro green and silver. Is there a code on this one? No, because that wouldn't make sense in 2006. So that just closes the hatch. Uh, this this weapon, is it supposed to be a staff? Or is it supposed to be, or well, what is it? I mean, really, um, check this out. Yeah, that spins, <laughs> that's fun. I'm not gonna launch it because I don't want to lose it. I want to make this set complete. So, and this whole thing is connected together uh, with this big uh, gray uh, long piece right here at the bottom right here and here. And I don't know what that's actually called, that piece, um, but it's a long one and that's what she said. So, articulation-wise, obviously, he can look up like that, he can look down like that, and that's pretty much, yeah. He can uh, move his head a little bit around. He does have limitations. Um, talk about lim limitations, he can, well, he can pose his um, his arms, obviously. They're limited to some degree with the, um, with the, how big this weapon is, and, you know, just how large it is, and that's what she said. Um, he can move his legs all the way up like that. He can obviously, you know, bend at the ankles and, you know, obviously bend all the way down to, you know, roller skate. <laughs> um, you know, you can do some dynamic posing with, uh, you know, skid. So, 
I've never I never used roller skates myself. I never was kind of into skating. Um, obviously, I couldn't do it now because, well, yeah. Um, there was this thing called uh, oh, what's it called? Uh, heelys, where they're basically just uh, shoes, but with some kind of uh, a wheel that you plug into the bottom of it and. You know, when you just want to walk, you can uh, take that wheel out and replace it with a gap filler. Um, but those were interesting. I almost wanted to try those. Obviously, I couldn't because, yeah. Hell, I don't think in school there those were allowed. So, because, you know, you can crash into people and, yeah. <laughs> um, so the articulation on Umbra was pretty alright. Um... It was, uh, I mean, the biggest limitations are, A, you know, the head being able to, well, not able to go all the way up and, you know, being how it's constructed, uh, it's the way it is. Um, the arms can pose, but to a degree, and, you know, um, they, it, 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 the, the, the arms have their limitations because they're both attached to this one freaking long ass weapon. And, um, you know, so, and if you ever want to shelve this guy on the shelf and he's only, he only has one hand on the weapon and one hand free doing something else probably, <laughs> um, you could modify it, but I wouldn't recommend that. The legs are fully articulatable, obviously the pistons are there, but that's fine, you know, I like the pistons, they're cool. Um, I still hate the fact that I discovered this fucking crack in the hand socket! Ugh. I still think they should have taken five dollars just off on that, because uh, this is terrible. But I, over I like the overall look of this guy, this definitely has a great shelf presence, I think. It's like it's different um, but my problem is it's a combination of different uh, styles uh, from different parts of different years you know the slicer feet are obviously um, from late 90s but still those were ever so present in uh, Lego's uh, repertoire of parts obviously this has 2004 and 2005 and 2006 parts but also parts from 2000 Two because of the Borak eyes, and 2003. Well, actually, no, 2004, 2002 because of Pohatu's climbing claws. And um, you know, this definitely has. It feels like a mixture of parts from many different years, and as a result of that, this set almost it comes off as like a uh, sort of a mess of a of a set, you know, it's like they were combining different aspects from different years, and I know they've been doing that f forever in terms of G1's run, and they've been doing that in Hero Factory's run too, at least for the first year, uh, combining parts from different as different years of Bionicle and whatnot. But for, for what it is, I feel like uh, Umbra was kind of an experimental set, you know, combining all these different aspects from different years to uh, sort of get this entire look, because this dude really does look cool. His torso is definitely sort of an expansion on the um, Paraka torso, because he's got the Paraka upper torso piece in the silver. And they built up on that, so they built upon this um, torso build, and sort of, you know, expanded upon it, and it looks pretty good, I think, for, uh, he does have a gap, obviously, if you, uh, look at it from the side here, but, that can be alleviated, obviously, I think you can do something with this, uh, uh, axle, that's in the, uh, Toa Metro foot, and overall, I like Umbra, you know, for the, for the time that he was released, uh, he definitely felt like one of those special sets that you had to have in order for the story to progress and make sense because he was in one of the comics. And um, also, you know, rolling him around is also quite fun too. It gets boring after about five minutes, I'd say. 
But overall, I like Umbra, and I'm happy to have him again in my collection. I don't know how effective his weapon truly is because, you know, obviously he can impale someone with the sword and he can probably chop someone's head off with the with the axe and he can definitely shoot lasers out of these ends probably. Why'd they have to give him a Rotuka spinner though? That's a clash and that this uh, this was a holdover from the last year, from 2005. It's like, uh, why? It, I mean, yeah, it's nice to watch it spin. Yeah. So, I actually still have another one of these in that color scheme. But it just feels like they added on the uh, Rotuka spinner, Rotuka launcher, um, just to kind of bump up the parts count and also kind of make his weapon a little bit, seem a little bit more, you know, unique and more purposeful, I guess you could say. Um, I don't know. What do you think about Umbra? Let me know in the comment section below. And is he your favorite limited edition set from 2006? Is he your favorite Titan set from 2006 in general? Is he your least favorite? Let me know why. Let me know why not. Um, because, I don't know. I feel conflicted. I, on one hand, I love this set because, you know, it, getting this set again, especially, you know, it had the instructions and it was fuck. Fully fucking complete. No box, but hey, we don't need that. Um, but at the same time, it just feels like one of those sets was kind of like a, um, that was kind of like an experiment, and it sort of was kind of, you know, they were just sort of putting parts together and see what kind of came out of it. And this was the result. It's like, well, we've got all these parts. Let's let's see what we can make out of them, and that's exactly what happened here. It's definitely an interesting build. I definitely, if, if I recall correctly, I did enjoy the build of it, of Umbra back when it came out when I got him for Christmas of 2006. Um, so I don't know. I'm gonna put him on the shelf though and see if his shelf presence is still uh, rather, you know striking because you know this the color scheme of silver key orange and uh well obviously with the black parts as well and the uh, metro green it's definitely kind of um it's like a mishmash of different colors but also uh sort of a striking color scheme in a way i don't know um, especially with the parts that are used I think this is a pretty okay set. I do like it. It's just, it kind of sucks that these don't work anymore. <sighs> Hell, the um, the batteries that are probably in them are probably rusted rusted out and whatnot, hence why there's the residue right there. So, I don't know. What do y'all think about Umbra here? And, well, I will be back later today with um, a video about the Voyatoran. So, Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm the Zombie J. I'll see you folks later. Have a good fucking day and peace.